how to find the sum of all the terms of an arithmetic progression involving real-life situations. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your MX skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss out anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question 1, Uncle Lim has 5,000 chickens in his chicken coop in a particular month. He starts selling 250 chickens in the next month and subsequently for the following months. The cost of feeding a chicken is 65 cents per month. Calculate the total cost of feeding the chickens until all of the chickens are sold. So, for this question, we have to write down the progression, okay? Started off with 5,000 chickens at the beginning. Therefore, our progression will start from 5,000 and then 4,750. Okay, how to get this? You see, start selling 250 chickens in the next month means we minus 250. So to get the next term, we minus 250 again. Okay, so we'll get 4,500. And then the next one, 4,250. And so on until the last term will be 250. So from this progression, we know that the first term, A, is 5,000. And the common difference, D, is negative 250. Okay, so the first step is to put Tn equals to 250. Why? Because the last term is 250. So Tn, the formula is A plus N minus 1 D equals to 250. Okay, so we're going to substitute the values of A and D into this formula to find the value of N. So 5000 plus N minus 1 D equals to 250. Okay, next, we expand this bracket. So we get 5,000 minus 250N plus 250 equals to 250. And then, this negative 250N, I shift it to the right-hand side, it becomes positive 250N and then this 250, I shift it over to the left hand side. So it becomes minus 250. So there's 5,000 left on the left hand side. So to find N, we calculate 5,000 divided by 250. Therefore, N is equal to 20. So to calculate the total cost of feeding the chickens, we have to find S20. So the formula that we're going to use, Sn, is equal to n over 2, a plus l. So since we already know the last term, the first term and last term, we use this formula. So therefore, S20 equals to 20 over 2, 5000, plus 250, because the last term is 250. Therefore, it's 52,000. And 500. So to find the total cost, we use 52,500 multiplied by 65 cents. So therefore, the total cost is 34,125. So this is the answer. For question 2, Henry starts his savings with 10 ringgit. Every month, he increases his savings by 80 cents for 3 years. 
Calculate A, the amount of money he saved in the 36th month and B, the total amount of money he saved during the 3 years. So first of all, we write down the progression. So we start off with 10 ringgit and then every month, he increases by 80 cents. So we have to add 80 cents to get the second term, which is 1080. To get the third term, we plus 80 cents again, which is 11.60 and so on. From here, we know that the first term A is 10 and D is 80 cents, which is 0 0.80. So A, to find the amount of money he saved in the 36th month, which means we have to use the formula Tn. So Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 D. So we're going to substitute the values of N, A and D. So T36 equals to 10 plus 36 minus 1, 0 0.8. So therefore, we'll get 38 ringgit in the 36th month. Okay, for B, calculate the total amount of money he saved during the 3 years, which means we have to use the SN formula. So SN equals to N over 2, 2A plus N minus 1, D. So to find S36, we substitute the values of N, A and D. So it'll be 36 over 2, 2 times 10 plus 36 minus 1 times with 0 0.8. So equals 18, 20 plus 35, 0 0.8. So equals RM 864. So this is the answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!